Welcome to a new video, today I'm building a bunch of USB to serial converter boards because if you're into electronics and microcontrollers you will for sure need a bunch of USB to serial converters to connect your boards to a computer for example. The idea for building these boards started when I found the CH340E converter chip on AliExpress. I like several things about this chip. It was small because it comes in MSOP10 package, it was cheap at about 40 cents a piece and it requires minimal external circuitry, in fact it only needs an external bypass capacitor by default. So I started creating the schematic for this small breakout board. I wanted a micro USB connector, I wanted to have a fuse for overcurrent protection, I wanted to have LED activity signaling. And the chip does not have dedicated LED activity pins, so I connected the LEDs directly to the TX and RX lines. This will likely limit the maximum achievable baud rate, but I figured having them there is worth it. I also wanted to have an LED to signal 5V is present so I know the fuse is not opened. And finally, I wanted to have the option of switching between 5V and 3.3V. So I added this 3.3 volts regulator and double pole double throw switch uh, to switch between the two voltages. Since there were just a few components, laying out the board was pretty simple, but you never know, Murphy always gets you with these simple boards, so I'm hoping everything will be alright. So here are the PCBs, I ordered them from PCBWay.com, they are sponsoring this video. If you'd like some professional PCBs made, check out their website, they make such a wide range of PCB types and can also help you with PCB assembly. I've ordered these with uh, matte green solder mask and gold plating and they look beautiful. I did it just because they were sponsoring this and I didn't have to pay it but normally you wouldn't need gold plating or uh, green matte for a board like this. So the final cost can be lowered by going with the uh, uh, standard finish. I have chosen 1.6 mm thickness for this uh, PCB. Because I want them to be sturdy and reliable, these will be handled by hand a lot and I don't want any flexing in the PCB to cause failures on the solder joints. I've also ordered a steel stencil because my components are surface mount and a stencil always helps with applying the solder paste in a professional way. And these days stencils are so inexpensive and they help so much during assembly, they are totally worth the cost. The stencil looks to be of very good quality, nice clean cuts and I love the fact that the area that they sent me is so small because uh, there is always a lot of waste around the used area on the stencil but not with this order, it's very compact. So let's get started assembling and testing one of these boards. And a few minutes later after reflow I have the first board assembled and it's time to plug it in and see if it's detected correctly. At least that was the plan until I realized this is going to be another one of my fail videos. You might have noticed that I am missing one component from the PCB and it's just the most important one, the freaking USB to serial converter chip. I ordered this about a month ago from AliExpress and I was under the impression that it has already arrived but no, the chips have not arrived yet and so I cannot complete this assembly. Unbelievable epic fail for me not to check if I have all the components before starting the assembly. Well at least the board looks nice when it's assembled too, half assembled that is. Unfortunately, this project will have to continue after I receive the chips, which will probably be another one or two weeks and we'll have to wait until then to know everything is working as it should. I'm gonna upload this video anyway because this is how things are in real life, you don't always get it right. I thank you for watching this video, don't forget to check out our sponsor PCBWay.com and I'll see you soon.